college degree. The old American dream tells us go to school, get a job, work hard, and buy a house. This has been the mentality for years. So what happens after you obtain your degree? You get a high paying job, start a family, and live happily ever after. (laughs) I wish that were true. However, this is far from the truth. In fact, in a study done by Finder.com, it says 53.2 million students said that they are not sure that their college degree was worth it. Not only is it hard to find a position in your field, but student loan debt with interest is so high that students can't get ahead in life, which is why more millennials choose online learning over traditional methods or entrepreneurship over getting a traditional nine to five job. Sure, success is what you make of it. But if you believe college degrees equal massive success, I'm sorry to tell you that's just not the case. Saving your money. We all know someone who saves their money on a consistent basis. Maybe they hide it in a mattress, put it in a jar, or stash it in the couch. Others place their money in a savings account, expecting it to grow over a long period of time. Though this sounds good, are you really building wealth? The answer is no. Money kept in a savings account is not growing or working to increase your net worth. All because of one word, inflation which is simply the steady devaluation of currency over time due to increased supply. See, when the government prints a lot of money, and trust they will, the value of the dollar goes down. So if you really want to grow your wealth, invest instead of save. Now, of course, emergency funds and things such as that nature is always good to have. But if you are specifically trying to build wealth, it is better for you to invest. I know we've all heard the phrase cash is king, but cash is only king if you invest your money into proven assets that yield consistent cash flow. You have to be rich to invest. In the old days, the thought of investing was far fetched to the common man. However, today, this is far from the truth. In fact, there are so many ways the average person can invest. For instance, apps such as Robinhood and Acorn provide you with easy interfaces that a young child can even use. You can get started today with just $5. If you invest $5 a week, it will continue to grow with interest. You can even have the money drafted out of your account so you won't miss an opportunity. You can even invest in real estate online. With companies such as Fundrise and Diversifund for as little as $500. If you can't afford that right off the bat, that's okay. You can just save $50 each check or even $100 every pay period and work your way up the line. Money can buy me happiness. From your favorite movie star to your next door neighbor, it would seem everybody is living the good life, except you. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to have fame and fortune? I'm sure we all would say yes. But money is strictly a tool to better your life. It's not the be-all, end-all of your life. In other words, don't believe money will buy you happiness. Those with a lot of money tend to have more legal troubles, more marriages that end in divorce, drug overdoses, 
murders and suicides, just to name a few. Of course, this is not the standard of all, but it is becoming the norm for most. Benjamin Franklin said, money has never made man happy, nor will it. There is nothing in its nature to produce happiness. The more of it one has, the more one wants. So as we work for financial freedom, don't let the evil side of money overtake you. And remember, no matter how successful you become, there is no price tag for happiness.